We are now moving into the second half of the 2020s. It is hard to believe how fast time flies. Today, I want to talk about the best camera I have used this year. I haven't tried every single new release from Sony or Panasonic. I am sure those are fantastic tools. However, cameras from the last few years are already incredibly capable. We are reaching a point where the gains in technology are getting smaller. Most modern cameras are already more than enough for what we need. For me, the standout camera of 2025 is the Nikon Z8. I have been using this camera for over a year now. It has been an absolute joy to work with. When I first saw the Z8, I thought I would hate the body. It looked way too big and bulky. I was coming from smaller systems like Fujifilm and Sony. But after 12 months of use, I actually enjoy how it feels. The grip is comfortable, and the body is built like a tank. It is made from a magnesium alloy that feels very solid in the hands. While it is chunky, that size adds a nice balance. Sometimes, smaller cameras feel like they don't have enough meat on the bone. With the Z8, you can fully grip the camera with confidence. It feels like a serious tool designed for hard work. One of the best physical features is the dual card slots. It uses CFexpress Type-B cards. This is very important because the Z8 pushes high-resolution 45 megapixel files. It also shoots incredibly fast. You need those fast cards to keep up with the burst rates. When I shoot, I never have to deal with buffering or slowing down. The workflow is smooth and instant. Another feature I love is the blackout-free electronic viewfinder. At first, I thought it was strange. Now, I wish every camera had it. When you shoot in burst mode, you don't see a black screen flashing. It makes the shooting experience feel much more natural. The battery life has also been impressive for my needs. On a 3-4 to four hour photography shoot, I can usually get by with just one battery. Things change if I start filming a lot of video. Shooting in 4K 60 or 10-bit log files will deplete the battery much faster. If you are a heavy video user, you will definitely need a few spares. But for pure photography, it holds up very well. Speaking of video, the quality coming out of the Z8 is excellent. I have been using it for talking head videos and b-roll. Nikon has really caught up with the competition in terms of video performance. The Z8 can actually film in 8K RAW at 60 frames per second. To be honest, I don't even use that much power. 4K 60 is more than enough for my YouTube channel. But it is nice to know that extra power is there if I ever need it. The log footage looks great right out of the camera. Nikon provides special red LUTs on their website that make grading very easy. I just apply those, and the colors look professional immediately. I have had many viewers comment on how good the colors look in my recent videos. That is the power of the Nikon color science. The autofocus tracking is another area where the Z8 shines. It uses the XP7 processor, which makes the system feel very zippy. The 3D tracking and eye tracking work perfectly for me. Some people say Sony is still slightly ahead, but at this point, we are just splitting hairs. Even without a dedicated AI chipset, the Z8 performs reliably in almost every situation. I have had zero problems tracking subjects, whether they are people or moving objects. It gives me a lot of confidence when I am out shooting. It just works exactly how a flagship camera should. When it comes to the photos, the colors are wonderful. I find Nikon RAW files very easy to edit. They remind me of Fujifilm files because the colors are so pleasing from the start. You only need to move a few sliders to get the look you want. Sony files often feel like they need more work to get the skin tones right. With the Nikon Z8, my editing workflow is much faster. I also enjoy the 45 megapixel resolution. While I don't always need that many pixels, it is great for zooming into the details. It makes inspecting your shots much more fun. As this year comes to an end, it feels like the right time to pause and reflect. Time moves fast. Faster than most of us expect. One moment it feels like we are still in the middle of the last decade. The next moment, we realize we are already deep into a new era. Cameras have changed. Creators have changed. And expectations have changed too. The truth is simple. Cameras today are extremely powerful. The improvements year after year are smaller than they used to be. 
there was a time when every new camera felt like a massive leap forward. Now, the differences are more subtle, more refined. But every once in a while, a camera arrives that quietly proves something important. That the industry is still moving forward. That design choices still matter. That balance matters more than spec sheets. This year, one camera stood out more than the rest. Not because it was perfect. Not because it was cheap. But because it consistently delivered. Day after day. Shoot after shoot. That camera is the Nikon Z8. What makes the Z8 special is not just one feature. It is the overall experience. It is how everything works together. From the moment you pick it up, you can tell it was designed to be used. Not admired from a distance. Not babied. Used. At first, the body can feel intimidating. Especially if you are coming from smaller systems. Mirrorless cameras were supposed to be compact. Lightweight. Minimal. And the Z8 does not pretend to be tiny. It has presence. It has weight. But that weight quickly starts to make sense. After extended use, the size becomes an advantage. The grip feels secure. The balance feels right. With larger lenses, the camera feels stable instead of front heavy. The magnesium alloy body gives confidence. This is not a fragile tool. This is a working camera. There is something reassuring about a camera that does not feel delicate. You stop worrying about it. You focus on shooting. That mental shift matters more than people realize. Another reason the Z8 shines is speed. Real speed. Not marketing speed. The camera responds instantly. Menus feel quick. Autofocus reacts without hesitation. Shutter response feels immediate. There is no lag. No waiting. No second guessing. The CF Express Type B card slot plays a big role here. Large files need fast storage. The Z8 produces high resolution images at fast burst rates, and the camera never feels held back. Buffering is rarely an issue. The workflow stays smooth. That means fewer interruptions and more focus on composition. One of the most underrated features is the blackout free electronic viewfinder. At first, it seems like a small thing. But once you get used to it, going back feels difficult. Being able to track movement continuously without interruption changes how you shoot action, portraits, and even casual moments. When the viewfinder never goes dark, you stay connected to the scene. Your timing improves. Your confidence improves. You trust what you see. Battery life is another practical strength. For photography, one battery can easily last several hours. That matters in real-world use. For video, batteries drain faster, especially at higher resolutions and frame rates. But this is expected. The important thing is consistency. You learn the camera's behavior quickly. There are no surprises. Video performance deserves serious attention. This is where Nikon has quietly closed the gap with competitors. The Z8 is not just a photography camera that happens to shoot video. It is a true hybrid. The footage looks clean. Colors are pleasing. Dynamic range feels flexible. Nikon's log profiles respond well in post. Even simple color grading produces strong results. For creators who do not want to spend hours tweaking footage, this is a big advantage. The option to shoot in high resolutions exists, even if you never use it. Knowing that the camera can shoot 8K gives peace of mind. But for most real-world projects, 4K60 is more than enough. The Z8 handles it effortlessly. Autofocus performance is another strong point. Subject tracking works reliably. Eye detection is consistent. 3D tracking feels fast and confident. While some competitors may still lead by a small margin, the difference is no longer dramatic. At this level, the gap becomes less important than reliability. What truly stands out is how predictable the camera feels. It does what you expect it to do. That reliability builds trust. And trust allows you to focus on creativity instead of settings. Color science is another reason many users grow attached to this camera. Nikon colors feel natural. They are easy to work with. Editing Nikon RAW files feels intuitive. Adjustments respond well. Skin tones look pleasing without heavy correction. High resolution is not necessary for everyone. But having 45 megapixels gives flexibility. 
cropping becomes safer. Details remain intact. The images hold up well even under close inspection. For those who like to zoom into their photos, this matters. Lens options also play a role in the Z8's appeal. The growing third-party support for the Z-mount has changed the ecosystem. More affordable lenses mean more creative freedom. You are no longer locked into expensive native glass to enjoy the system. Adapters also work surprisingly well. Many adapted lenses perform close to native. Autofocus remains reliable with the right lenses. This lowers the barrier for switching systems. It makes experimentation easier. Another important factor is Nikon's approach to firmware updates. Features continue to improve after purchase. New options are added. Performance is refined. This builds goodwill. Users feel supported. The camera evolves over time instead of being abandoned. This philosophy matters. It creates long-term value. It makes the purchase feel justified even years later. Over time, the Z8 stops feeling like a new camera. It becomes familiar, comfortable, dependable, and that is the highest compliment a tool can receive. Photography feels enjoyable. Video feels accessible. The camera adapts to different roles without frustration. It does not force you into one style of shooting. That balance is rare. And that balance is why for this year, the Nikon Z8 stands above the rest.